These blue cards are for inputs, eight inputs on each card. Connected here are switches or devices that give the controller information, on or off. Mostly these inputs are call buttons, limit switches and feedback from relays elsewhere on the controller. These green cards are for outputs, eight separate outputs per card and each indicated by an LED. The PLC does nothing without being programmed. The programming would have been developed and written by Benny. This controller was installed mid 1980s so I'm guessing that this would have been done in a workshop as laptops from the mid 1980s looked like this. The programming could have been written on a chip called an EEPROM which is then plugged into the processor card. The EEPROM would have been written using something like this. There is a terminal interface on the front of the processor for diagnostics and setting changes and perhaps the main programming if my EEPROM idea is incorrect. I put together this animation which gives a total overview lift position, call buttons, even where I am. I've used three cameras all recording at the same time and synchronised them to bring you this comprehensive behind the scenes footage. As we go through the video I will explain what each input and output does. Some serious editing went into making this and I hope you enjoy watching it. FS, fire service input. Normally a key switch on the ground floor that the fire brigade used to bring the lift to the ground floor and the doors remain open. Believe it or not, you're not gonna see this working today because I didn't do any fire service experiments. But click the link below to see one that didn't go according to plan. RSR, restart relay. This is a timer relay at the top of the cabinet called PT, pause timer. This timer activates for a few seconds at the end of each run. This is probably to clear any relays or any other timers in readiness to run again. I'm not 100% sure of the purpose of this input, although it probably informs the controller that the reset sequence has completed so the controller will allow the lift to run again. GR Gate Relay Input is active when all the doors are shut and locked which then allows the lift to run. MR Main Relay Input The lift cannot run unless two relays are active. It needs an up or down relay and a main relay. The main relay acts as a safety so that if the up or down relay were to malfunction and activate alone, the lift would not travel until the main relay is also on. As this is an input, I'm assuming that the controller needs to know whether the main relay is on or not. If the controller tries to move the lift up or down and the MR input didn't activate, then the controller would know that the lift isn't moving and may reopen the doors. I'm not 100% sure. SE, safety edge. This is usually a beam across the door which reopens when someone gets in the way. But in this installation, it's an old style door buffer. For some reason, the door open button has also been wired into here instead of its dedicated DOP input, which for some reason is not used. DCP. This lift doesn't have a door close button. I don't like that as some may say. But if you observe this input, sometimes when the doors are closing, this input is also active. 
TR top roller. There is a roller switch at the top and bottom of the shaft. When the lift is at its highest floor, TR is activated. It's the same for BR, as this is the bottom roller switch at the bottom of the shaft. If the controller were to forget the position of the lift car, it can then run the lift down at a slow speed, blindly, until the lift reaches the bottom of the shaft, where BR would activate. The lift position is then reset to the ground floor. These switches are possibly also a backup for a slowdown input for a car approaching the end of the shaft in case it hasn't slowed down already. PSU Slowing proximity switches these are like magnets that are positioned between each floor and are read by the lift car when it travels. These inputs have two purposes. First, if the lift is due to stop on the next floor, it will put the lift into slow speed ready to arrive at the floor. Secondly, they are used to count floors for the lift's car position. If the lift is going down, the PSU magnet is passed first, followed by PSD. The controller then counts the lift down one level. It's the opposite for upwards travel. DOL and DCL. These door open limit and door close limit switches are inputs connected to the door operator, which tells the controller when the doors have reached the fully open or fully closed position. SPS. Special purpose switch. Do you have a special purpose? If you do, then connect your switch into here and program the controller accordingly. Can also be used to lock out floors or take the lift out of normal service. DOR Door open relay. This opens the lift doors and DCR, door close relay, closes the lift doors. These outputs alone are not powerful enough to operate the door motors directly. Instead, they connect to bigger relays in the cabinet that switch the higher voltage to the doors. PLU Car levelling inputs. The easiest way to describe this is to refer to magnets in the shaft that line up with each floor. The lift reads them and gives the stop signal to the controller. PLU is for levelling from an upwards direction, where PLD is for down. These overlap so that both PLU and PLD are both lit when the lift is level with the floor. UR, up relay and DR, down relay. 